of the St. Paul Winter Farmers Market, open every Saturday from 9 until 1 p.m. There are vendors behind me, but guess what? That's not all. There are more vendors inside. Standing in front of Sadia's Gourmet, and Sadia makes a variety of East African sauces. Okay, now which one is the best sauce? Uh, actually, the best for me is my favorite sweet and the mild, because you're using marinade and dipping and cooking a salad dressing as well. You can marinade, use as a salad dressing, yes. as a dip. Cooking. Cooking. Yes, they go with everything. All right, and you'll be here all winter long this year? Yes, I am. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to get some of this, and I'm going to go and get some chicken, Thank and I'm going to so try much. that. And my product is behind the story, because I come from a long way to here, and I'm looking for a better life. So this is my dream. I was dreaming when I was like eight years old. So, Have you always been famous for your sauces? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I'm here with Larry Hill from Aspen Ridge Honey Farm. And Larry, what happens to the bees in the winter? Well, the bees, our bees, we leave them in, the, in our hives all winter long. The bees, we save them about 90 pounds of honey to live on in the wintertime. And the bees will, what they'll do, they'll cluster together. And in that cluster, they exercise their wing muscles, which generates heat, which keeps the inside of that cluster right about 92 degrees all winter long. Oh, wow. So the queens, queens on the inside, so they really protect their queens. So they snuggle in the oh, winter. Oh, they snuggle in the wintertime. You have a nice line of body products as well made from bee stuff. That's certainly our winter work. We certainly take care of our bees in the summer, but in winter work is our soap and our hand salves and our lotions. So this moisturizing oatmeal and honey, do you make this yourself? Uh, my wife makes it, but she makes all the soaps and lip balms and I do the lotions. Oh, my sisters-in-law are going to love me this year. Yeah, so very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Emily. So I'm here with Jack Gurdon of the St. Paul Farmer's Market. So Jack, tell me. What's going on this great event for Thanksgiving coming up? Well, we have the one every year, the one day before Thanksgiving, we have a turkey distribution day where every all our summer customers order their turkeys for the for the season, and they come on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving to pick them up and to get them home and get them in the oven. Down here, we have about 50 growers at that time, and you can get everything from a fresh apple pie to apples to, to yams to potatoes and everything for your table. We have everything but the wine, so you, uh, we can get, prepare for you down here. So on that Wednesday, I hear there are Christmas trees here as well. Is that correct? You bet. We have fresh Christmas trees coming into the market on the Wednesday. We have 2,500 Christmas trees all over the market that you can buy during the Christmas season along with wreaths. And I bet that smells lovely. Uh, it's a beautiful backdrop to our winter market to having the growers every Saturday sell down here and you can pick up your tree at the same time for your Christmas holiday what season. If, what about other holiday gifts? Oh, uh, we have in the winter market we specialize in having baskets so people can give their employees, their friends, their relatives a farmer's market gift basket of all locally grown products. My mother will love that. Something from local from Minnesota. You bet. The one benefit too down here in the market in the wintertime is you can park free in the market during the wintertime market. And there's room all over the market to park and close to where you're buying your product. Well, thanks, Jack. That sounds really fun. I'll be here. When is it? Wednesday before Thanksgiving? It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving is the key on. And then after that, we're open the first week in December from 9 to 1 at Golden's Deli and outside at the market. We're Every Saturday, right? Every Saturday. All right. Yeah. So this is for my dad this holiday season. A fine bottle of Three Rivers Farm maple syrup. This stuff is like liquid gold. I'm not kidding. Try it. If you like pancakes, if you don't like pancakes, drink it straight. Seriously. Can I have a shot of that? <laughs> Liquid gold. Mm. I've died and gone to heaven. I'm standing here with Michelle Barr, AKA Mimi Barr of Mimi's Jellies. And Mimi, tell me, your last ingredient is love. Love, Jam yes. making is a calling, right? It is, it is. And it's time consuming, but I love to do it. So that's why I put love as my last ingredient. And you use 95% local ingredients? I do, I do. Wow, and what is your most popular jam? 
I would have to say my red raspberry jalapeno jelly is phenomenal. Yes, uh, appetizer breakfast and even a barbecue sauce on wings. I'm gonna pick that up for barbecue sauce. There Thank you, you very much, Mimi. You're welcome. So if you watched our segment on Linda Noble's Farm on Wheels, you would know that her meat is all organic, there's no corn or soy feed used, it's all grass fed. And I've got some Mimi's Red Raspberry Hot Pepper Jam and I'm looking for a cut of meat to use as, to put this as, on as a glaze. So Linda, what would you recommend with Red Raspberry Hot Pepper Jam? Well, we can put it on a quarterhouse steak or you can do it on a whole tenderloin or even on the cured ham roast would be great. There's lots of options that you can do. It's just wonderful. And uh, you're here all winter long, right? Yes, I am. We come uh -huh. down every Saturday all winter long. So I will, I will be visiting you a lot this winter. All right, that sounds great. <laughs> I'm standing here with Todd Thomas of Brook Park Fish Farm and this is the place that you're going to want to come first because he makes all of his own croissants and in the morning, in the winter, a coffee and a croissant, a homemade fresh croissant is the way to go. And tell me about your fish. How, how do you get this beautiful pink color? Well, we don't feed any commercial feed at all. We raise our fish 100% naturally. Uh, the fish eat a lot of crayfish and the crustaceous salts in the fish are what will change the color of the flesh. So that means you're gonna have lots of omega-3 fatty acids, lots of this beautiful pink color, lots of the good stuff. Come to Brook Park, it's totally worth it. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the St. Paul Winter Farmers Market, open every Saturday from 9 until 1 p.m. So this winter, when it's nice and cold out, resist the temptation to stay indoors. Come on out to the market, meet the growers, get some hot coffee at Golden's Deli, and enjoy yourself. Remember, when you shop local, you keep your dollars local.